So you've been told that in order to be a great putter, you got to swing the putter straight back and straight through. Well, I'm here to tell you that that is just completely wrong and bad information. And oddly enough, I'm going to show you how the visual of a pizza slice can actually improve your putting. I'm PGA teaching professional Todd Cope, director of instruction for US Golf TV and the Sanford Power Golf Academy. And one of my favorite things to coach and teach is putting because it is a big part of the game and it's one of the easiest ways to lower your score. And what I have found over 25 years of coaching and all due honesty, it's where some of the worst information in terms of getting better lies. So we're gonna change some of those myths and we're gonna show you what you need to do. And if you haven't already, hey, be sure to subscribe to our channel. This is the place for you and do me a favor. Be sure to tell a friend and leave a comment. I respond to all the comments and some of my best ideas on what we should talk about are coming from you, so be sure to leave a couple comments. Now, let's dive right into this, because this is something that I am really passionate about, and this is something that is gonna drastically change your game when it comes to putting. So I'm gonna talk about, first of all, the biggest myth in putting is that you should swing the putter straight back and straight through. I'm gonna disprove that today, and I'm gonna show you what you should be doing. So I've got my I've got a putt set up here. I've got about a, I'd say, nine, 10 foot putt. I've got my live view set up directly on my intended line. This is a straight putt, all right, for reference points. And one of the things I love about live view is it's got this grid feature where I can put a line on. So you can see right there, I've got a line going right through the middle of the ball, right towards the center of the cup for a straight putt. Now, what you have been told is that you should swing the putter straight back and straight through. Now let me show you, if I want to actually do that, what I have to do to make that happen and why I think that's wrong. So I'm going to set in here. I've got my putter right in the center of the grid line there. Okay. Now, if I'm to swing this putter straight back and straight through, okay, I'm going to keep it as close as I can on that straight line. I'll see if I can even do it with two hands. It's hard to even do. I'm going to keep it straight there. All right, and I'm going to go through and I'm gonna try to keep it straight on that line again. Now, what I want you to notice from face on is I want you to watch my arms and specifically my wrists or my hands, okay? In order for me to do that, I've got a distance right here between my hands, I'm gonna call my wrists and my center right here, okay? Now at the end, I'm gonna give you a great drill to work on this and bring it all back home together. So in order for me to keep this putter on that straight line, I'm gonna watch my live view here. You're gonna watch my wrists to my center right here, right? Let's say for sake of discussion, from here to here is, let's just say it's two feet, for sake of discussion. Now, as I swing this back, I want you to look at it and tell me, is this distance between my wrist, okay, and my center getting longer or shorter? We can tell it's definitely longer. It might be up to three feet now, but that putter is right along the line. Now, I gotta come back, and I've gotta bring it back in, or I'm gonna hit the ground, if I want to keep it straight, there we go. Okay, now that does not look like the position I was in when I set up. So if you're trying to keep that putter straight back and straight through, you're going to have to manipulate the angles in order to do that. So one of the first things I look for is if people are not making solid contact. They're not hitting the ball in the center of the putter. Something's changing. Okay, they're set up right here, right? The putter's down by the ball and they're hitting behind it or they're hitting up on it, it's because, in my opinion, they're trying to keep the putter straight back and straight through, and they're having to change the radius of their arm. So basically, without a putter, it looked like this. In order to make the putter go straight back and straight through, I'd start here at two feet, I'd have to lengthen to three feet. Now, if I keep it at three feet, what's gonna happen? Okay, I'm gonna hit the ground, right? So now what do I gotta do? I've gone from two feet, to three feet, now I better go back to two feet to make solid contact, but yet I wanna keep it straight going through, so now I need to lengthen it back again. So I'm going two feet, three feet, two feet, three feet. Okay, that is just not a recipe for success. So what should we be doing? Well, let me first of all say that a lot of this information I'm sharing with you right now, and what I'm gonna bring up here, the, the, the famous pizza slice, is something I learned from David Orr. Now, David Orr is one of the best putting coaches in the world. If you haven't heard of him, you should check him out. Google him. He's got some great information out there. He's one of the smartest guys when it comes to putting. And so what I'm going to share with you right now on this tip is something that I learned from David. So let me go ahead and let's bring up our handy-dandy pizza slice. The kids love this one. It's a great visual to get a sense of what the putter should be doing. So what I'm going to do, first of all, you can see it right here in the live view. I'm going to go ahead and set my putter down. Is I'm going to set this up. 
Okay, and what I'm gonna do is if I wanna swing that putter exactly straight back and straight through, okay, notice the angle that I have to set this pizza slice at. Straight up and down. Okay, so in theory, I guess if you wanted to swing the putter straight up and straight down, or excuse me, straight back and straight through, the putter shaft angle would have to be almost vertical. 90 degrees straight up and down. But people don't putt like this. All right, where do they putt? They putt with a little bit of an angle. So as you can see in the live view, if I go from 90, okay, and I start to work down a little bit, this is right here, this is the magic right here. Notice where that back side of the pizza slice goes. It goes in and it goes up. And notice where the front side is, in and up. Okay, let's go through that again because this is why you tuned into this video. This would be straight back and straight through. Straight up and down, putters are not built that way, the vast majority of them are not. They're at a little bit of an angle, and when I go at an angle, even though I haven't changed the pizza slice, it's still the same size, it's still pepperoni, it's all the same stuff, right? I put it at an angle, notice how it goes up and in. So if I put the putter on that, and this is the tip, and I'm gonna give you a drill here at the end, two drills to help you do this. So I'm at the angle, okay, and I swing that putter back. All right, let me get set in here. Let me get it actually lined up so now the putter face, there we go, now the putter head is in line with the grid. Notice where that goes? It goes in and it goes up. Back down, in and back up. Now that is completely different than swinging the putter straight back and straight through. So if you're trying to get set up, get set up in here again, and you're trying to keep that putter perfectly straight perfectly straight, you're gonna to have to really manipulate the radius, the length, and I haven't even talked about the face orientation. In order to do that, you're gonna to have to literally shut the face, open the face, okay, and then shut the face again. It's got way too much going on. So what should you be doing? Well, I've already learned with the pizza slice, we want the putter to work on the same radius. So if I'm set in here, and this is the first drill you're gonna do, take your hands and match them up. See, I got my knuckles like this, they're in the same spot. Okay, and I get set up here. You can even see my hands right there on the bottom or top of the live view. I'm gonna maintain this radius. And when I do that, my hands work up and in, back down, up and in. So even from your view right there, you'll be able to see this. Here's my hands, right? Okay, I'm set in there. I'm just gonna rotate on a nice radius, a nice inclined circle. Where do my hands go? In and up, right back down, and back in and up. So if I do that same thing with a putter in my hands, I maintain that same radius, that putter's gonna swing up and in, back down where it was, and back up and in. So let me go ahead and roll one here. Set up there. Okay, and I actually made it first try, no lie. All right, so how can we practice that? That's the concept. Hopefully that's opening your mind a little bit. Hey, be sure to leave a comment. If you disagree with that, that's okay. Tell me why, and maybe you can teach me something. But in my experience, and learning from some of the best coaches in the world, David, for example, this is what I have found works best for everybody. All right, so I've given you this drill right here, right? This is a great drill for you to do. The other drill that I give a lot of my students is to swing the putter with just their dominant hand. So for a right-handed golfer, I'm gonna swing with my right hand. So I've got it here in my right hand. And I'm just gonna swing the putter. Notice that on the live view there? Gosh, this is why I like the live view. You can just see it right there. I can keep my head down, I'm looking at the mobile device. What is that? I mean, that looks pretty natural to me. I don't know what it looks like from face on, but notice that putter swings up and in, back down and up and in. Okay, if I was to do it straight back, I'd have to do this, and then this. That doesn't look natural at all. Okay, so the tip, the drill you can do is just hit some putts with your dominant hand and feel like your hands work up and in, because they'll naturally do that if they stay on the arc, and back up and in. So those are the two drills, this one right here, to work on maintaining your radius, right hand only, to work on the natural feel. So next time you head to the golf course, you work on your putting, don't try to swing the putter straight back and straight through. In my opinion, and from some of the best coaches in the world, that is not how the putter should be moving. It's not how the best putters move the putter. This tip right here, remember the pizza slice. It's a good visual for you. And if you do those types of things, you're going to start rolling the rock and start making a few more putts.